Hello YouTube, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be giving my two cents on the newly released Fighter the 13th Blu-ray collection. Just to let Now, this collection only consists of the Paramount movies. So that means no none of the movies from New Line like the remake Jason Goes to Hell, which me personally, I really don't mind because I consider them set in an alternate universe. To me, Jason takes Manhattan as the final Friday the Thirteenth movie. This it comes with the same special features as the deluxe edition DVDs that they released. Like I can't remember, like two thousand nine or so. One of my complaints is just that um Friday the Thirteenth Part Two and Part Three doesn't contain audio commentaries, but the rest of the movies do. Now this is what this is what they look like. So you get the uncut version only of the first movie, part two, part three, which by which by the way, this doesn't come with 3D glasses. So me personally, I'm not gonna watch part three in 3D anyway. So yeah, the final chapter, and this is where we get kind of interesting. The remaining films are on all one one Blu-ray discs. Part five and part five and six, right there. Part 7 and Part 8 right here, so it's pretty interesting because a lot of a lot of movies that do the whole two, a lot of DVDs, Blu-rays that do the whole two movies or three movies on one disc, it doesn't come with special features, but but I'm kind of glad there is some some special features on on these, these on both of these Blu-rays right here. If you get uh, if you guys plan on picking this up, I don't know if the there there was a there was another collection that they released, but Warner Brothers released it. But it also includes it includes every Friday the Thirteenth movie, including including the ones by New Line. I don't know the bonus features on on that set, but with Friday the Thirteenth Jason Lives, this one has one of the most interesting b sp special features. If you get if you guys plan on picking this up, I highly recommend checking out like one of the special features for Jason Lives is called Meeting Mr. Voorhees. This is where the director talks about his original idea of introducing Jason's father at the end of this movie, which is which is pretty interesting and I can't believe that they never thought about doing like showing Miss introducing Mr. Voorhees to the to the audience, which is pretty cool. Another complaint I I got is that part 1 through 3 they all got animated animated menus while the rest of them is not I can for example let me show you right here all right so I'm gonna show you what it looks like through looks like the menus for part one through three first and I'm sorry about the shitty quality I'm recording on a on an Android phone but but later videos it's gonna get the quality is gonna get better so it won't be piss poor so This is this is part one. So part two and I'm gonna show you part two and three real quick. Then I'm gonna show you part. I'm gonna show you part four and and part five and six menus to see to get to get a grip of what I'm talking about. Part two right here. And this is part three right here. So this is where this is the own. Part one through three only has like animated, animated menus compared, but the rest of them is not animated. And again, I'm sorry for the shitty quality I'm recording on an Android phone, but my future videos are gonna be better. Just trust, just trust me, man. So yeah, and this is this is yeah part. The final chapter is where the through from the final chapter through through Jason takes Manhattan is just nothing but these boring generic menus no animated I, they get they kind of got lazy at this point i'm going to show you one more and and i'm going to end the video there so right now this is going to be like the last last example i'm going to show you this is where this is where they got really kind of lazy with this one 
but it's still it's still a really it's still a really good release. I, I, if you if you haven't pick up if you haven't pick up any of the collections, I recommend you pick them up. New Beginning and Jason Jason Live. So. No animated feature, no animated menus. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm sorry. And if you want to stretch, if you want to stretch from movie to movie, there they got the alternate title right there. So. And this is this is the this is the special feature I'm talk that I that I highly recommend you guys checking out if you if you haven't picked up the collection. Sorry, my finger is in the ray. So I'm gonna show you like a few seconds of it. Okay, well this is something pretty special, or at least certainly special for me. This is what the end of the movie, My Friday the Thirteenth, Jason Lives, was supposed to be. Um, basically, I thought it would be very cool to introduce Jason's father. And that had not been done, and I always thought, well, obviously we met his mother in the first one. What was his father like? So through the wonderful invention of uh, DVD and with the, um, the use of a wonderful story arc. So yeah, that that was just a few seconds of it. If you guys want to see it, then just just buy just buy the DVD or Blu-ray. You can po you could probably find Jason Lives standalone on eBay for cheap. That for the dust if you want the DVD, but yeah, I highly recommend you guys check out that fe special feature. It's really interesting to look at, and that is all. So like, comment, subscribe, share, and I'm sorry. I, and again, I like to apologize for the shitty quality. I'm on, I'm recording it with my Android phone, but future videos they're going to be is going to be more high quality so so please subscribe and have a good day